Hey guys, it's bad move. Now, there's bad news and I'm very whizzed off at this point. Charcoal, the original version, has been removed by YouTube. They alleged it, well, in this case accused it, of violating their policy on cyberbullying and harassment. Now, I want to make this clear, that was never the intention of Charcoal. Charcoal is my song in which I protested against racism. It was a protest song against racism. Now, now I understand why they made the takedown and I believe it's because of lines 9 to 12 in the second verse where I was showing examples of racist comments. My intention was to basically use them as an eye-opener. I was basically giving examples hypothetical examples of the racist comments that these stupid racists are saying towards other races and it's supposed to be like a put yourself in your shoe situation like how would you feel if someone said these racist things towards you that was basically the intention the intention of the whole song was to protest against racism condemn racist behavior and condemn the stupid, impotent, racist individual. That was the whole intention of the song. But now uh, YouTube has removed it. I understand why. But I don't believe that it should violate cyberbullying and harassment because that was never my intention. And that's stupid as hell, to be honest. And YouTube, they obviously have a history of making stupid decisions because some of their staff, they're not educated enough to basically ask us what our intentions were. Instead of like giving us removals or giving us strikes, they need to contact us first. They should just give us a chance to remove the video. What really whizzes me off is how people, they just don't give us a chance. They just remove it just like that. Instead of asking for our intentions, asking for our reasons or giving us a chance. Like if we have to remove it, give us like a 24 hour notice or 48 hour notice. But no, YouTube apparently doesn't work that way anymore and it's ridiculous when i uploaded this song on my second channel the original version only got age restricted but allowing the edited version i wasn't gonna take any chances because considering that i had now a warning on this channel and now notice how i never had a community guidelines violation on this channel before within the five years that i've had this specific channel up until now so unfortunately if one version goes, all of the versions have to go. So, unfortunately, I had to delete the edited version and the radio edit version too. Because I don't trust YouTube enough for me to keep them there. Because they might take them down too. I know what you're thinking, they're the censored versions. Of course they are. But even though they're the censored versions, people who have heard the original versions and people who are going to read the lyrics, they're going to know what was censored and what was in the original. So I can't take a chance. So what I'm going to have to do is either redo the song or I have to do a completely new song protesting against racism. Now I do apologize that this has to happen. However, this is not my fault. This is YouTube's fault. I mean, yeah, I take responsibility for making the song and yeah, I could have done the examples better, but YouTube is to blame for accusing my song of violating their cyberbullying and harassment policy. But anyways, I'm not gonna let this stop me. Hopefully I don't get another violation because this is premiere week for I Will Tell Them. And I don't want anything or even YouTube themselves to jack it up. And that's the last thing that I want to happen. I need this channel to stay clean up until then for this whole week. <sighs> I mean, it's ridiculous. Premier Week and this kind of crap happens. But anyways, um, just basically, I'm, I'm just going to continue as normal. And hopefully no more violations have, have come in place. Well, in that case, uh, see you in the next one.